10 groundbreaking space missions that flew under the radar. Venturing back to the inception of the space era during the enigmatic 1950s, countries across the globe embarked upon launching myriad robotic pioneers into the vast cosmic expanse. These intrepid mechanical emissaries embarked on odysseys that spanned the entirety of our solar system and ventured even beyond, divulging the most closely shrouded enigmas of our universe. The illustrious designations such as Apollo, Voyager, and Hubble radiate brilliantly within the collective consciousness, having etched their indelible imprints within the annals of history. Yet, amid the grandeur of these renowned celestial quests, there lies an intricate tapestry of inconspicuous, yet profoundly pioneering, missions that silently achieved seminal breakthroughs, all without the accompaniment of fanfare. These precursory spacecraft embarked on journeys that transcended the boundaries of technological feasibility, traversing terrains hitherto uncharted by machines. They boldly navigated through the enigmatic abyss and achieved triumphant victories against staggering odds, fundamentally reshaping our comprehension of the solar system and the cosmos at large. Although their significance may have dimmed with the passage of time, these enigmatic forays into space merit unwavering recognition for their audacious feats. From the unparalleled privilege of glimpsing a comet up close to the audacious feat of landing on the enigmatic terrain of Mars, these vanguards of exploration demonstrated the realm of possibilities, laying the very foundation for the impending wave of cosmic expeditions. A compendium of ten transformative space odysseys emerges from obscurity, each surreptitiously achieving groundbreaking precedence in the noble pursuit of scientific enlightenment and revelation. Number 10. Luna 3, Unveiling the Moon's Hidden Face Unveiling Lunar Secrets, Luna 3's Extraordinary Journey When we talk about voyages into the great unknown, there's one that shines as brightly as the moon itself, Luna 3's mission. Picture this, it's 1959, the space race is on like Donkey Kong, and the Soviet Union launches Luna 3 into the cosmos with an audacious goal, to snap shots of the moon's shrouded backside. Yeah, you heard me right, the side of the moon that's always playing hide and seek with us earthlings. The epic odyssey commences. October 4, 1959, mark that date with a celestial highlighter because that's when the lunar party kicked off. Luna 3 waved goodbye to its terrestrial buddies and ventured out where no spacecraft had gone before, beyond the moon itself. Now, hold your breath because this was not just any cosmic road trip. This was Luna 3's groundbreaking escapade to be the paparazzi for the moon's secret side. Unveiling the enigmatic lunar far side. Imagine the anticipation, like waiting for your favorite show's season finale, but with spaceships. Luna 3 went MIA behind the moon's curtain, and we all leaned in, cosmic popcorn in hand. And guess what? It didn't disappoint. When Luna 3 made its grand re-entry, it brought back something that made the entire world's jaw drop, a jackpot of mind-blowing lunar views. A photographic marvel, 29 frames of awe. Snap, snap, snap. Luna 3 went all out, capturing 29 jaw-dropping images that changed the way we look at our lunar buddy. What did those pics reveal? Brace yourself for this, a terrain that looked like it had seen some serious, cosmic action. Countless craters, big and small, decorating the rugged landscape like a lunar treasure map. It was like discovering a new page in the moon's travelogue, one that had been kept hidden in the back pocket all along. Flipping the cosmic script. You know the classic moon, the one that's all shiny and smooth when you glimpse at it from our blue planet? Well, Luna 3 said, hold my space beer, and flipped the script. The images it brought back showed a side of the moon that was all about the rugged life. No silky, dark lunar seas here. It was like finding out your favorite movie star has a wild side that no one knew about, mind officially blown. One giant leap for lunar understanding. Luna 3 wasn't just taking pictures for the cosmic gram. No, this mission was a whole lot bigger. It was like humanity's grand expedition into lunar mysteries. Those 29 snapshots weren't just photographs, they were windows into a new understanding of the moon's history, its evolution, and its secrets. Think about it, before Luna 3, 
we were pretty much guessing what was up with the lunar far side. But thanks to those images, we had a front row seat to the lunar show. Beyond Boundaries, a monument to human curiosity. You see, Luna 3 wasn't just a spacecraft, it was a symbol of human determination to push the boundaries. Imagine the audacity of saying, hey, moon's far side, smile for the camera. That's the kind of spirit that takes us places, or in this case, it takes the spacecraft to places and brings back a cosmic treasure trove. Luna 3 stands as a testament to the insatiable curiosity that defines us, the itch to know more, to see more, and to explore beyond what we thought was possible. The Cosmic Takeaway So, what's the cosmic takeaway here? Well, Luna 3's mission wasn't just about photography, it was about rewriting the lunar story, expanding our cosmic horizons, and proving that even when we think we've got the universe all figured out, there's always a surprise waiting around the cosmic corner. This mission wasn't just a leap for space exploration, it was a giant leap for human imagination and understanding. As we gaze up at the moon, let's remember Luna 3, that audacious little spacecraft that dared to go where no lens had gone before. It's a reminder that the universe is vast, mysterious, and full of hidden gems just waiting for us to uncover. So, keep your eyes on the skies, because who knows what cosmic marvel we'll discover next. Number 9. Venera 7, Braving Venus's Inferno. Venera 7, Defying Venus' Fiery Embrace. Fasten your cosmic seatbelts, folks, because in 1970, the Soviet Union wasn't just dipping its toes, it was diving headfirst into the sizzling hot waters of Venus with a little thing called Venera 7. You heard it right, Venus, the planet that boasts temperatures hotter than your ovens, pizza, setting and an atmosphere that could crush a tank. But hey, challenges are like catnip for explorers, and Venera 7 was armed and ready. A hot date with Venus. December 15, 1970, mark it on your cosmic calendar because that's when Venera 7 was like, Venus, we're coming for you. After a space trek that spanned four months, this bold spacecraft geared up for a date with destiny, a rendezvous with the fiery surface of Venus. You know, the place where the Mercury practically sprints past 880 degrees Fahrenheit 471 degrees Celsius and the atmospheric pressure makes Earth look like a feather. The ultimate space daredevil. You've got to hand it to Venera 7, it had the guts of a cosmic daredevil. As it descended through the Venusian atmosphere, it faced a challenge that could make even the bravest astronauts reconsider their career choices. But guess what? Venera 7 didn't flinch. It stared those intense temperatures and crushing pressures in the face and said, bring it on. A fiery triumph. Hold on to your space helmets, because this is where the action gets real. Against all odds, Venera 7 emerged triumphant. It survived the scorching heat and the bone-crushing weight to achieve something that was nothing short of mind-blowing. Brace yourself for this, it landed. Yep, you read that right. Venera 7 didn't just survive the fiery plunge, it landed gracefully on the Venusian turf. Talk about sticking the landing. A whirlwind of data. Now, here's where Venera 7 truly shines, even under the most hostile circumstances. Despite battling Venus' extreme conditions, this relentless explorer managed to transmit data back to Earth for a whopping 23 minutes. Think about it, in less time than your favorite TV show, Venera 7 sent signals directly from another planet's surface. It's like interplanetary texting, but on a whole new level paving the way for cosmic pioneers. Venera 7 wasn't just making history, it was also blazing a trail for future cosmic adventurers. Its successful mission gave a hearty nod to the fact that Venus wasn't off-limits, that even the most unforgiving worlds could be tamed by human ingenuity. This little spacecraft paved the way for our obsession with uncovering Venus' enigmatic secrets, proving that exploration is as much about persistence as it is about technology triumph of the human spirit. Imagine the scientists and engineers who brought Venera 7 to life. They weren't just building a spacecraft, they were creating a symbol of human audacity. 
Venera 7 stands tall as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit, the relentless pursuit of knowledge, and the drive to conquer the unconquerable. It's a nod to the fact that curiosity is a force as powerful as gravity. Beyond Venus, Beyond Limits As we look back at Venera 7's audacious journey, let's remember that it wasn't just a spacecraft. It was a statement, a testament to human innovation, courage, and our infinite thirst for exploration. It showed us that even in the face of the furious challenges, we can break through the barriers of the unknown. So, next time you gaze at the night sky, remember Venera 7, a symbol that reminds us that the cosmos is not just a place of wonder, but also a canvas for our wildest dreams. Number 8. Pioneer 10, A Journey to the Outer Planets. Pioneer 10, Charting the Cosmos Beyond. Buckle up, space enthusiasts, because in 1972, NASA kicked off a cosmic road trip that would rewrite the history books. Enter Pioneer 10, a spacecraft with an itch for exploration that was destined for the farthest corners of our solar system. Back then, the outer reaches were like that uncharted territory on a treasure map, and Pioneer 10 was about to strike gold. A cosmic dare, beyond Mars and more. Imagine this, it's 1972, and we're gazing up at the stars, dreaming of what lies beyond our cosmic doorstep. That's when NASA gave us Pioneer 10, a spacecraft designed to take us on a journey that had never been attempted before. Mars? PSH, been there, done that. This little pioneer was setting its sights on the big leagues, the outer solar system, where mysteries of deep space were begging to be uncovered. Tools of the Cosmic Trade Pioneer 10 wasn't just a run-of-the-mill spacecraft, it was a cutting-edge explorer armed with state-of-the-art instruments. Its mission To capture Jupiter in all its glory and dive headfirst into its radiation belts. December 3, 1973, marked a date etched in cosmic history when Pioneer 10 soared within a mere 81,000 miles, 130,357 kilometers, of Jupiter's fluffy cloud tops. Talk about rubbing shoulders with the big boys. Dancing through the asteroid belt. But wait, the adventure doesn't stop there. Pioneer 10 went all twinkle toes as it waltzed through the asteroid belt, a place where space rocks play cosmic bumper cars. Did it survive? You betcha! Imagine a cosmic ballet, with Pioneer 10 pirouetting through the chaos of asteroid bombardment and emerging victorious on the other side. Farther than any had gone before. Pioneer 10 wasn't just about making grand pit stops, it was on a trajectory to make history. After its dance with Jupiter and surviving the asteroid rodeo, this intrepid explorer wasn't done. It just kept going and going until it became the first human-made object to break free from the solar system's gravitational clutches. Think about it, Pioneer 10 went where no spacecraft had gone before, becoming the ultimate cosmic escape artist. Paving the Cosmic Highway Hold on to your space helmets, because Pioneer 10's journey wasn't just about being the cool kid at the cosmic party. Its trailblazing mission gave humanity a cosmic green light, it showed us that interplanetary travel wasn't just a sci-fi dream, it was a reality waiting to be realized. Pioneer 10's success was a nod to the fact that the cosmos wasn't some unreachable playground, it was a highway paved with human ingenuity and determination. A leap for interstellar explorers. Picture this, the vast expanse of space, stretching farther than our imagination can fathom. Now, imagine a tiny spacecraft defying the odds, crossing those unimaginable distances. That's Pioneer 10 for you, a beacon of human curiosity that marked a giant leap for interstellar exploration. It whispered to the cosmos, we're coming for you, and showed that the desire for knowledge knows no bounds. Forever in the Cosmic Chronicles. As we look back at Pioneer 10's odyssey, let's remember that it wasn't just a spacecraft, it was a pioneer in every sense of the word. It was a testament to our species' endless thirst for understanding, our indomitable spirit, and our unyielding desire to reach for the stars, and even beyond. So, when you gaze up at the night sky, let Pioneer 10 be a reminder that in the grand tapestry of the universe, 
We're all explorers on an infinite journey. Number 7. Viking 1, the unsung hero of Mars exploration. Viking 1, pioneering Mars, one snap at a time. Before Mars became the go-to headline grabber with its rovers and cosmic selfies, there was a feisty trailblazer named Viking 1. Back in the day, when space exploration was just finding its groove, Viking 1 stepped onto the scene and made history like a boss. It was like the original Martian influencer, and its journey started way back on August 20, 1975. Mars welcomes a bold visitor. Imagine the cosmic hype when Viking 1 got its ticket to ride the stars. It was a spacecraft on a mission, and its destination? The enigmatic red planet. Landing on Mars? No big deal, right? Wrong! Viking 1 was about to pull off a cosmic touchdown that would make history books blush. It was the first ever spacecraft to grace Mars' surface, and guess what? It brought its own selfie camera. A cosmic marathon. Picture this, Viking 1, on a marathon cosmic journey lasting 10 months. That's dedication right there. And then, after all that space mileage, it finally made its Martian pit stop, Christ Planitia, a smooth, welcoming plane on the red planet. Now, this wasn't one of those, quick selfie and bounce, moments. Viking 1 took its time, scouting and studying the Martian landscape to find that perfect pose. Cosmic Paparazzi on duty. Once Viking 1 had scouted its surroundings, it got into its cosmic groove. Camera ready, it started snapping away, capturing the Martian vistas like a seasoned photographer. The result? Mind-blowing panoramic views of Mars's surface, images that would have even Ansel Adams raising an impressed eyebrow. Over six years, Viking 1 was like a relentless cosmic paparazzi, sending back over 1,400 images for us Earthlings to gawk at. More than just a selfie session. Viking 1 wasn't just striking poses, it was on a scientific mission. While we hoped it might run into ET, it was busy analyzing Martian soil and checking out the local atmosphere. No little green beings, but a treasure trove of information about our cosmic neighbor. Viking 1 wasn't just sending back pictures, it was sending back knowledge, insights that would shape our understanding of the red planet. Paving the Martian way. Now, let's talk legacy. Viking 1 wasn't just a lone explorer, it was the trailblazer that paved the way for future Mars missions. Its audacious journey showed us that Mars wasn't just a pretty face in the cosmic crowd, it was a cosmic puzzle waiting to be solved. Viking 1 was the opening act, setting the stage for the Mars exploration extravaganza we see today. A cosmic bow. So, let's give a cosmic round of applause to Viking 1, the original Martian pioneer that braved the stars, touched down on another planet, and showed us that the universe is our ultimate playground. As we marvel at Mars rovers and dream of our own interplanetary adventures, let's remember Viking 1, the little spacecraft that started it all. It's a nod to our insatiable curiosity, our indomitable spirit, and our boundless imagination. The cosmos is waiting, and Viking 1 showed us that we're more than ready to explore its infinite wonders. Number 6. Giotto, the Comet Chaser. Giotto's cosmic date with Halley's Comet, a close encounter. Back in 1986, when leg warmers were in style and cassette tapes ruled the music scene, the European Space Agency, ESA, decided to shake things up in the cosmos. Cue the daring mission to rendezvous with none other than the rock star of our inner solar system, Halley's Comet. This wasn't just any comet, it was the comet, the one that had been wowing Earthlings for centuries. And the star of the show? The Giotto Probe. A comet's close-up, the Giotto Chronicles. Halley's Comet had been the darling of astronomers for ages, but nobody had ever gotten up close and personal with it. Enter Giotto, a fearless probe armed with cameras, instruments, and a dust shield. It was like the paparazzi of space, ready to capture every angle and detail as Halley's Comet strutted its stuff through the cosmic runway. The Cosmic Dance, Giotto and Halley's Comet Tango. March 13, 1986, picture it. 
the universe held its breath as Giotto made its grand entrance onto the cosmic stage. It was a dance of epic proportions, Giotto and Halley's Comet engaged in a space tango that would make even the most graceful dancer envious. Giotto got within a hair-raising 370 miles, 596 kilometers, of the comet's nucleus. That's like a cosmic high-five in the vastness of space. A portrait of cosmic beauty, capturing Halley's Comet. With its cameras and instruments at the ready, Giotto did what no one had ever done before. It captured Halley's Comet like a pro photographer shooting a cover for a space magazine. Detailed photos of the comet's icy heart. Check. Measurements of the material it was spewing out into the universe. Double check. Giotto was on a cosmic mission to reveal the secrets of this celestial wanderer. A fiery showdown with stardust. But, as with any good story, there's a twist. Giotto wasn't just capturing pictures, it was also taking a cosmic beating. Dust particles from the comet pummeled it like an interstellar hailstorm. Yet, even with these battle scars, Giotto held on. It was a survivor, a testament to human engineering and cosmic grit. The cosmic data drop. Giotto wasn't just a daredevil, it was a data deliverer. It beamed back invaluable information to Earth, giving scientists their first-ever backstage pass to a comet's inner workings. From the icy nucleus to the gaseous jets spewing out, Giotto's data illuminated the mysteries of Halley's Comet like never before. It was like peeling back the layers of a cosmic onion, paving the way for cosmic chase. As Giotto danced with Halley's Comet and whispered its cosmic secrets, it also opened doors for future space adventurers. Its success showed us that comets were more than just celestial graffiti in the night sky, they were cosmic time capsules waiting to be explored. Giotto paved the way for missions like Deep Space One and Stardust, reminding us that the universe is an endless playground of discovery. The Cosmic Epilogue so, as we fast forward to today's era of sleek smartphones and electric cars, let's not forget Giotto's daring cosmic escapade. It was more than a probe, it was a testament to human curiosity, innovation, and our unyielding spirit to reach for the stars, or in this case, comets. In the grand tapestry of space exploration, Giotto will forever remain a shimmering star that proved humanity's ability to get up close and personal with the cosmos' most elusive wonders. Number 5. Ulysses, the Solar Polar Explorer. Ulysses, unraveling the sun's polar secrets. Back in 1990, when flannel shirts were cool and dial-up internet ruled, something truly cosmic was happening. A dynamic duo, NASA and ESA, launched the Ulysses mission, ready to embark on a daring voyage to the sun's uncharted territories, its poles. You see, while scientists had been gazing at the sun's equatorial region, the poles remained a cosmic riddle. Ulysses was here to change all that and boy, did it deliver. Sun's Polar Odyssey, the Ulysses Chronicles. Imagine this, the sun, that blazing star at the center of our solar system, had its secrets. Ulysses was our spacefaring detective, armed with a slew of scientific instruments, poised to uncover those enigmatic mysteries. It was like Sherlock Holmes with a cosmic twist. The road less traveled, Ulysses' cosmic route. Ulysses wasn't content with the ordinary, it was aiming high, or should we say, latitudinally. This bold spacecraft embarked on a trajectory that led it to the sun's higher latitudes. And in 1994, it did something no spacecraft had done before, it flew over the sun's north pole, getting a cosmic bird's eye view of that fiery crown. A cosmic triathlon, three orbits around the sun. Ulysses wasn't just a one-hit wonder, it was in it for the long haul. Over six years, it completed not one, not two, but three orbits around the sun talk about cosmic endurance. It didn't just sip cosmic lemonade on these orbits, it was hard at work, analyzing the sun's polar magnetic fields, the speed of its solar wind, and even the mysterious cosmic rays. Unveiling the sun's true face. Before Ulysses, scientists were like spectators at a cosmic play, watching the sun's equatorial act from Earth's viewpoint. But Ulysses had backstage passes. 
Its journey provided a 360-degree view of the sun's environment, unveiling its true three-dimensional nature. Think about it, Ulysses opened the curtains on the sun's polar influences that had remained hidden for eons. Solar Symphony, the sun's dynamic influence. Ulysses didn't just collect data, it conducted a cosmic symphony. Its observations unveiled new harmonies in our understanding of the sun's magnetic field and how it sways to influence our entire solar system. It was like discovering that the sun wasn't just a star, it was a conductor orchestrating a celestial melody that played throughout the cosmos. A cosmic shift in understanding. As Ulysses sailed through space, it changed the cosmic tide of understanding. Its discoveries rewrote the textbooks, illuminating the profound impact of the sun's magnetic field on Earth and the solar system at large. It was a paradigm shift, a cosmic aha moment that forever altered our perception of our blazing star. The Cosmic Aftermath So, as we navigate a world of touchscreens and AI assistance, let's not forget the bold Ulysses, the mission that defied the status quo and unraveled the sun's polar secrets. It wasn't just a spacecraft, it was a symbol of humanity's unending curiosity, our thirst for cosmic knowledge, and our ability to reach beyond our own world to uncover the universe's hidden truths. As we bask in the warmth of the sun's rays, let's remember Ulysses, the unsung hero that shed light on our solar neighbor's most mysterious corners. Number 4. Near Shoemaker, the Asteroid Whisperer. Near Shoemaker, Unveiling Asteroidal Mysteries Cast your cosmic gaze back to 1996, a time of flannel shirts and pagers, when NASA launched a daring mission that would rewrite the cosmic playbook. Enter the Near Shoemaker mission, a trailblazer ready to make history by doing something no spacecraft had done before, orbit and land on an asteroid. The Star of the Show For 33 Eros, a near-Earth asteroid shrouded in cosmic enigma, a dance with Eros, the near shoemaker tale. Imagine the audacity, a spacecraft on a cosmic rendezvous with an asteroid. For 33 Eros was the leading lady, and near shoemaker was here to sweep her off her celestial feet. But this wasn't just any dance, it was an intricate ballet of science and exploration. Up close and personal, Eros under the microscope. After a four-year cosmic journey that would make any road trip seem like a walk in the park, Near Shoemaker arrived at Eros in February 2000, ready to make history. And boy, did it deliver. It became the first spacecraft to enter into a cozy orbit around an asteroid. For an entire year, it fluttered close, mapping Eros' surface features, deciphering its composition, and probing its mass distribution like a cosmic detective. The unthinkable, a soft landing on an alien rock. Then, in February 2001, Near Shoemaker did the cosmic equivalent of a mic drop. It maneuvered with precision and grace, touching down on Eros' surface, the first ever asteroid landing in the annals of space exploration. Imagine the audacity, a spacecraft designed for orbit deciding to have a touch and go on an alien world. Eros whispered secrets. But Near Shoemaker wasn't just a space tourist, it was a scholar with a mission. Even though it wasn't built for landing, it whispered secrets from Eros' surface for two remarkable weeks before its batteries called it quits. Those two weeks were like a cosmic treasure hunt, unearthing valuable data that would forever change our understanding of asteroids. The asteroid's true nature revealed. Eros, it turns out, had a secret, it wasn't a solid chunk of space rock. No, Near Shoemaker unveiled the truth, near-Earth asteroids are more like loose piles of cosmic rubble. Imagine the surprise when scientists realized that these celestial wanderers were more like conglomerations of cosmic pebbles than solid monoliths. Opening our cosmic eyes. In a world where space exploration was venturing into the unknown, Near Shoemaker was a beacon of discovery. It wasn't just a spacecraft. It was a pioneer, an ambassador to the stars, whispering to Eros, tell me your secrets. And boy, did Eros comply. Near Shoemaker was like a cosmic key that unlocked the mysteries of asteroids, providing us with a glimpse into their true nature. The Afterglow of Discovery 
So, as we navigate an era of smartphones and electric vehicles, let's not forget near Shoemaker's daring dance with Eros. It wasn't just a mission, it was a testament to human innovation, our unending curiosity, and our ability to reach out and touch the cosmos. The whispers of Eros didn't fall on deaf ears, they echoed through history, showing us that even the most distant celestial objects have stories to tell, all we need to do is listen. Number 3. Stardust, the Comet Whisperer. Stardust, Cosmic Treasures Returned. In the year 1999, amidst the buzz of Y2K fears and dial-up connections, NASA ignited a mission that would go down in history. Enter Stardust, a cosmic voyage with an audacious goal, to snag a piece of a comet and bring it home. This wasn't just any space trip, it was a treasure hunt that would forever change our understanding of the cosmos. The Stardust Quest, a comet's whisper. Picture this, a mission named Stardust, aiming to do the unimaginable. Its cosmic target? Comet Wild 2, a celestial wanderer with secrets waiting to be unveiled. With tools like an aerogel collector grid, a navigation camera, and a dust flux monitor, Stardust was like a cosmic investigator, ready to interrogate the mysteries of the universe. A Cosmic Road Trip, Stardust's Journey For five years, Stardust danced through space, its destination set on the rendezvous of a lifetime. In 2004, the moment arrived, a close flyby of Comet Wild 2. Stardust didn't just wave from a distance, it got up close and personal, collecting precious samples of cometary and interstellar dust. Imagine a cosmic souvenir hunt, with Stardust as the cosmic traveler bringing back pieces of a distant world. Homecoming of Celestial Particles Two years later, Stardust's treasure chest, a return capsule, safely landed in the Utah desert, carrying with it the cosmic cargo it had collected. This was more than just a homecoming, it was a cosmic triumph. Stardust had achieved what no other mission had before, bringing extraterrestrial materials from beyond the moon's orbit back to Earth. It was like receiving a message from the stars themselves. The universe's whisper, comets reimagined. But Stardust's work was far from over. The samples it delivered held revelations that shook the foundations of cosmic theory. They hinted that comets were more than just cosmic snowballs, they carried fragments of the early solar system, ejected by the early sun itself. This discovery challenged scientists' notions of how these celestial wanderers formed and evolved, rewriting the cosmic narrative. A Cosmic Encore, Stardust's Second Act Stardust wasn't just a one-hit wonder, it was ready for an encore. Recycled for the Stardust NXT mission, it embarked on an unprecedented journey. In 2011, it became the first spacecraft to visit a comet, Temple 1, for the second time. This was like a cosmic reunion, a second date with a celestial object. Stardust was the cosmic Romeo, proving that even in space, a reunion is always on the cards. Unveiling Cosmic Time Capsules as the first mission to return a cometary sample to Earth, Stardust opened the door to the secrets of the universe. It gave us an intimate look at these cosmic time capsules, showcasing their hidden treasures and stories. Stardust wasn't just a mission, it was a cosmic bridge, connecting us to the farthest reaches of space and time. The Stardust Legacy So, in a world of smartphones and electric vehicles, Let's not forget the Stardust mission's audacious, cosmic journey. It wasn't just a mission, it was a cosmic odyssey that unveiled the universe's whispered secrets. As we gaze at the night sky, let Stardust remind us that the cosmos is full of stories waiting to be heard, all we need to do is listen. Number 2. Hayabusa, the Daredevil of Space. Hayabusa, a Cosmic Falcon's Triumph. In the year 2003, when flip phones were all the rage and MP3 players were the cool tech, a daring journey unfolded in the cosmos. The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, unveiled the Hayabusa mission, a cosmic daredevil poised to achieve the impossible, to snatch samples from an asteroid and return them to Earth. It was like a cosmic heist with a twist. A Falcon's Descent, the Hayabusa Odyssey. Hayabusa, 
The name alone holds the spirit of a falcon, a symbol of swift flight and unwavering focus. With its sights set on 433 Eros, a near-Earth asteroid, Hayabusa embarked on a journey that would test its metal and redefine space exploration. But one landing. Nah, Hayabusa decided to do things in style, it touched down not once, but twice on Eros. It was like a cosmic ballet with asteroids. Navigating Cosmic Seas Think about it, Hayabusa had to navigate the vast cosmic seas, covering billions of miles, and withstand the harsh rigors of outer space. And then, the real challenge, landing on an asteroid about as big as a cosmic pebble, just half a kilometer wide. Imagine trying to find a needle in a haystack, and not just finding it, but landing on it with precision. Hayabusa was a cosmic acrobat, performing maneuvers that boggled the mind. A cosmic heist, collecting precious samples. But Hayabusa was no mere performer, it was on a cosmic mission. With its daring descents, it scooped up samples from Eros, like a celestial treasure hunter. Those samples weren't just dust, they were pieces of another world, celestial time capsules that held the secrets of the cosmos. Hayabusa was like a cosmic courier, entrusted with delivering these precious fragments to Earth. Triumph against the odds. Think about the odds, a spacecraft traveling through the depths of space, landing on a tiny asteroid, and then making its way back to our blue planet with samples intact. It was a cosmic triumph, a testament to human ingenuity, determination, and the audacity to reach for the stars. Hayabusa didn't just return, it rewrote the cosmic playbook. The Falcon's Legacy In 2010, Hayabusa returned home with its cosmic cargo, the first-ever asteroid samples. Those samples weren't just rocks, they were a cosmic bridge, connecting us to the farthest corners of the universe. Hayabusa showed us that even the seemingly impossible is within our reach if we dare to dream, to explore, and to push the boundaries of what's possible. A Cosmic Ode to Hayabusa So, as we navigate an era of self-driving cars and AI assistants, let's not forget the cosmic odyssey of Hayabusa. It wasn't just a spacecraft, it was a symbol of human curiosity, resilience, and our unending quest for knowledge. It danced with asteroids, performed cosmic maneuvers, and brought back treasures from the stars. Hayabusa whispered to the cosmos, we dare to explore, and the universe whispered back, come, unravel my mysteries. Number 1. Moonshot, India's Chandrayaan-1. Chandrayaan-1, a lunar odyssey of discovery. In the year 2008, when smartphones were becoming everyone's favorite sidekick and streaming services were on the rise, a remarkable cosmic tale unfolded. The Indian Space Research Organization ASRO, took center stage with Chandrayaan-1, not just a lunar probe, but a cosmic investigator with a mission to unravel the moon's mysteries. A Cosmic Quest, Chandrayaan-1's Arrival Imagine this, a lunar probe with a mission more than just, shooting for the moon. Chandrayaan-1 was a pioneer, venturing into space with a purpose, to explore the moon's surface, to scrutinize its secrets, and to unveil its hidden truths. But there was a twist in the plot that even Bollywood couldn't have scripted better, Chandrayaan-1 stumbled upon evidence of water on the moon. It was like discovering a precious gem in the cosmic sands. More than just an orbiter, Chandrayaan-1's bold moves. Chandrayaan-1 wasn't content with a distant orbit, it was a suitor bold enough to make a move. Instead of keeping its distance, it dropped a probe onto the lunar surface, right by the Shackleton crater at the lunar south pole. This wasn't just sending a love letter, this was showing up at the doorstep, ready to explore, discover, and touch the very object of its cosmic affection. Cosmic Drama and Triumph But no great story is without its twists and turns. After a year of successful operation, Chandrayaan-1 faced a dramatic twist, it lost radio contact in 2009. It was like the suspense-filled climax of a movie. But here's the twist, even in its supposed loss, Chandrayaan-1 had already achieved 95% of its mission objectives. It was like a cosmic hero bowing out after completing a triumphant quest. 
A new chapter in lunar exploration. So here's to Chandrayaan 1, the lunar explorer that dared to do more than just reach for the moon, it touched it, studied it, and forever changed our understanding of our cosmic neighbor. It wasn't just a spacecraft, it was a symbol of human ingenuity, ambition, and the unending quest for knowledge. Chandrayaan 1 opened a new chapter in lunar exploration, showing us that even in the vastness of space, our thirst for discovery knows no bounds. As we gaze at the moon's silvery glow, let's remember Chandrayaan 1, the cosmic explorer that made the moon's secrets its own.